Hi everyone, we're going to write each polynomial in standard form. There are five problems here, and uh, many of these involve uh, condensing uh, the factors, like for from 2 to 5. And we're going to use formulas on a couple of them. So the first one is this one, and this one, writing it in standard form, would mean uh, we're going to go in order of our degree, so um, the largest degree, in this case 4, and then uh, go in descending order. So we have negative 7a to the 4th minus a to the 4th, that's negative 8a to the 4th. Then we have the next one is plus 3a squared and then plus 9. And if you had a zero here, you'd probably want to uh, have our lead coefficient here as positive. So I would just change all the signs here. Um, it makes it nicer to work with, okay? And this one, we're going to uh, FOIL. So we're doing uh, first, outer, inner, last. So the first is 3x times x. That's your, okay, I'll do that later. Okay, the next one is uh, outers. So this is your outers. So that's going to be plus 3x times 2. This is your inner, plus 3 times x. And your last are the last two terms, which is 3 times 2, which is just 6. So basically, this is your first, outer, inner, and last. And you're going to simplify this. This will be 3x squared plus 6x plus 3x plus 6. And with the two binomials like this, we usually add the two, the outer and the inner. So you get 3x squared plus 9x plus 6. This is standard form. You could factor out a 3 if you want it in this case, but um, that wouldn't be in standard form. Okay, on this one, uh, this basically is 4y minus 5 times 4y minus 5. Now, you could do the same thing, foil that out, but what I'm going to do is use the formula a minus b squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And a equals 4y and b equals 5. It's a lot faster if you do it this way. So my a is 4y and my b is 5. And then just simplify this. This would be 16 because you square the 4 and the y. 16y squared. Um, and this one, go ahead and put your negative. Uh, multiply your three coefficients. So that's 20 times 2, that's 40. And don't forget your y. And then plus 5 squared is 25. All right. And this one um, is the more tedious one. I like to put my binomial in front. So I'm just going to rewrite that. You don't have to do that, but I like to do that. All right, and you're going to multiply this b by all three terms. So in that case, you're just going up on the b here. So it's just copy this down, but instead of b squared, it's b cubed. Instead of b, it's b squared. Instead of 7, it's 7b. All right. Now we're multiplying each of these terms by 3. All right, so we're going to do plus 12b squared minus 
12b minus 21. And then we see what we can combine. We only have 1b cubed, so that's 4b cubed. We have 2b squares, so that's uh, 12b squared minus 4b squared, that's 8b squared. So we took care of those. And now we have uh, negative 7b minus 12b, that's negative 19b. So we took care of those, and then we have our minus 21. And that's it. And the last one, you can uh, FOIL this out. What I like to do is uh, know the, f the factoring facts that a minus b times a plus b equals a squared minus b squared. In this case, my a is 4d and my b equals 9. So I'm just going to write this down and input my 4d and my 9. So when you square 4d, you get 16d squared minus 81. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.